September numbers are in. We're talking about what we flipped to make six thousand six hundred eighty-five dollars last month. Woohoo! And guys, before we do that, we're Rob and Melissa with Flea Market Flipper. We've been flipping for over 20 years and absolutely love the flipping business. So 6,685 is our gross and we're going to dive into uh, all of the nitty gritty of the shipping costs, the eBay fees, um, cost of goods sold, and of course the profits. That's right. You guys always want to know what is the profit on that $6,600 uh, gross month. So we are going to get into it now. Okay. So that was Last month was eight items that we sold. Eight items! For that $66.85. And we only invested a total of 312 items. That's right. So that's all the money we had to go out of pocket to actually buy these items so we could take possession of them and sell them. So not that much money to come up with $6,600 in, um, yeah. in revenue for so, sure. But before we get into all the totals, let's go into each individual one. So the first flip was a total gym. Total gym, and this was actually a. I remember when you got that one. It was a commercial, yeah. and we did it in a sourcing mm -hmm. workshop that we had we had going on. Uh, but it was a commercial grade one, so it wasn't just any no normal total gym. Um, we actually bought it for sixty dollars, uh, turned around and sold it for eight fifty, eight hundred and fifty dollars. So uh, that was a, a sweet deal. A lot of people uh, actually, when we did the post on that, they're like, "You can get total gym for two hundred thirty dollars," and I was like, "Yeah, you can." But this was a commercial one; it was used for a rehab center, so it was a little bit higher end, a nicer total gym. So. so that's that's the difference between residential and commercial um, on certain items. Like you might have the same brand name, but yep. the model is different, right? And that's what we look for is the commercial okay. stuff usually is more expensive. It's well, well made uh, pieces of equipment. That's why we, that's what we search out is the commercial equipment to be able to sell that. So um, paid uh, $60 for this, turned it around and sold it for $850 and that's including shipping on that. So, yeah. and it cost $98 to ship it. 98 so. bucks to ship it. eBay fees were $106. Um, and I didn't break these down to total profit into it, but we'll do that yeah, at the end of we it. Yeah, had so. the totals for that. Um, so Number two! The belt. The belt! We sold for $400. We sold this bad boy for $400. I don't know what kind of belt it was. It actually had the name brand on it. I uh, picked this up from one of my contacts. He actually had it um, sitting in a dumpster. And I actually snagged, I think, three of them. But they were huge. They were like this wide. And it was a big old belt. belt. It was, right? yeah, some type of machine belt. I don't know. But like I said, it had it was a Continental uh, name brand. And it had a model number on it. So that's how I figured out. It was very expensive. I think retail was over $1,000 per belt. Um, and they were in great condition. Like they were yeah, new. They were in good condition. They weren't new, okay. but they were in, in good condition. So okay. that's how we uh, we sold them, pictured them well. Uh, sold it for 400 bucks and- uh, for 20. 20 bucks I paid my contact for these bad boys. Uh, so killer, killer deal on that. These were 50 and- 50 bucks in fees. Shipping was 21. It was $21 it was. It went into a small box. So uh, that was the belt that we sold. So- What is the Metro- Number three, stainless steel Metro oh, cart. cart yeah. uh, we had this one for a little while, which was okay because I had it in my shop. It had wheels on it. I used it to uh, move stuff around and store stuff in and on top. Um, but we paid, what did we pay for that one? 40 bucks? 40 bucks. Uh, we bought that one on offer up for 40 bucks and then we sold it for- 800. $800 and that included shipping as well. What did we pay on shipping? 109. 109 bucks on that. That was actually on a pallet. Uh, so it went, uh, I don't remember exactly where it went, but it did go freight and then eBay fees were- $100. $100 in eBay fees. So uh, great deal on that. That was a cool one to flip. A stainless steel Metro cart, something that they would use in a hospital, uh, something like that. And you used that until you... You sold it. Right? I did. I did. I used it in the shop. So it, uh, it worked out great. Uh, the wolf cooktop. Did we get that on the trip? We did. On our road trip over the summer, we bought actually two wolf cooktops. Um, and they were smaller ones. Smaller uh, cooktops. I don't that was remember. was in Colorado, right? Yeah. I don't remember the exact size. I remember size. the location of each. Stop. Yeah. That was in shop. actually Steamboat. We, uh, when we stopped yeah. in Steamboat. So uh, paid $75. Yep. $75 a piece for those. We only sold one. We still have the other one. Um, but paid $75. Sold it for $685. And you took an offer on that one. You had a nice different. I did 750 yeah. and I dropped it down. Uh, the she lady went back and forth with me a couple times, really wanted it. And uh, she said that was all she could afford. So we sold it for 685. Um, super stoked about that one. Shipping was not that 32. much. Yeah. 32 bucks on this. It wasn't super big. And eBay um, fees were 87. 87 bucks on eBay fees on that one. So killer, killer deal. So that was number three. Yeah, uh, number four. No, oh, no, that was number, yeah, number, number four. Number three, so no, number four. No, that was number four, sorry. Number five. <laughs> was the escalator cleaner. Escalator cleaner. This was a really, really cool. We actually bought three of these at a local auction. Uh, what did I pay for them? Uh, 25 bucks each. $25 a piece. Super, super cheap. I think retails on these are like $2,400. Between $2,400 and $3,000. I don't know exactly. Uh, sold this bad boy for $1,300. $1, um, shipped it. We didn't have to go freight on this because I could 
could take all, apart the handle and get it into a box. Uh, paid a hundred one dollars on shipping, and then eBay fees were uh, one eighty six. One eighty six on the eBay fees. So eBay got us on this one. It charged a little bit more. So. Exactly. So it was a higher priced item. So killer killer deal on that. Still a killer flip. Love that. Bucks. Number six. Number six was the Billy Goat Blower. Billy Goat Blower had this bad boy for a while too. Got this from one of my contacts. Paid forty bucks for it. Uh, that's the going rate from one of my contacts. <laughs> Anything that I find, uh, typically that's his starting price is forty bucks for you know, push mowers stuff like to this nature. Um, so we got this bad boy. Um, sold it. We had this one for a little while. I didn't do anything to it. No, it um, sat for a little while. Yeah, it did sit for a while. Nine fifty. So you sold it for nine hundred and fifty dollars, including shipping. This one was kind of unique. Uh, yeah. Wait, um, you got you paid fifty bucks for it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 50. 50. I thought I paid 40. So um, he talked me up on that one. He usually goes for 40. So he must've got 50 bucks out of this one. Um, but yeah, so we sold it for 950. Shipping on it was 200. Uh, no, uh, 119. Oh yeah. No, 260. Sorry. No, 260 you know, shipping on this. I knew it, this one was a yeah. little bit more uh, for shipping. And then, but I was okay with it because I had it for a little while. Uh, we paid a little bit more on shipping than we usually do. And then eBay fees were... Um, we're 119. 119 on the eBay fees. So um, just a little bit about contacts. I think we should talk about that yeah. for a second. Like how important and we we've always like tried to impress on how important making contacts are. But what does that look like? Like how does that? This, like you've made so many contacts just by being consistent yeah. of going to the flea market, right? Yeah, exactly. And so. within the last couple of years that we've actually started making contacts, we've been doing this for over 20 years. Um, and never until recently, we started to actually uh, make contacts with these people who are in this industry, uh, scrap scrappers, uh, uh, scrapyard owners, and people who deal in this type of stuff. Um, and it's been a game changer because yeah. you don't have to constantly go to yard sales, uh, flea markets, thrift stores. Your stuff. <laughs> That's it. Uh, day in and day out, I'm getting pictures uh, with stuff that uh, they have that they've they've come across somehow and they're trying to sell it to me so it's just uh, by being friendly with the people is. like the vendors of the flea market you get to know after a while thrift store managers you get to know after yep. a while and then before they put something on the floor they might let you know hey i have this do you want it so that's it contacts um, are huge good, in this yeah. business if you're trying to scale or go to that next they're level not for sure. that hard to make if you no, put a little bit not, effort, just being nice so. to people that's yeah. all it is that's all we did originally and then we started making contacts and, and getting consistent. people's phone numbers and being consistent for sure so great point the valve number seven <laughs> That valve. The valve. And this one actually was given to me. Um, a guy was getting rid of a lot of plumbing equipment. Or I say plumbing equipment. Plumbing pipes, um, valves, and stuff like that. They came, uh, they were cycled out um, of a, a plumbing company. We've replaced some stuff. So that's where we got this from. It was actually... A friend of a friend. <laughs> it was a friend of a friend. It was a freebie. I got it. I got a whole bunch of them. Uh, I think I have two of them listed. The other ones are not listed yet. Um, but this bad boy... $500. $500. Uh, killer, killer deal on this. This actually did go freight. It was heavy. Uh, it would have easily went into a box, but I think it was like 120. Too heavy. Yeah, 120, 130 pounds. So it was too heavy to actually go uh, FedEx or UPS. So we threw it onto a very small pallet. Uh, still not super expensive to ship. 100 $128 for shipping, uh, and that was on a pallet. So killer deal on that as well. And um, $63 for eBay fees. 63 bucks in eBay fees for sure. So that uh, that was a good deal for sure. Number eight. The last one, the Viking cooktop. Right? Viking cooktop. Picked this bad boy up on the road trip as well. Paid $42 for it. We actually bought this from a lady who had um, a couple trailers full of stuff uh, that she was trying to liquidate. Um, we went in, we bought, I think. That wasn't a cooktop, that was an oven, right? Sorry, not a cooktop. Yes, yeah, a double a oven. Double oven. Okay. So, but uh, she had multiple oh, items. Cool. Um, we actually uh, picked out a couple items. I think we bought four or five items from her. Ended up to averaging out to forty-two dollars per item that we bought. Um, this cooked, uh, I mean, this uh, oven was one of those items that we bought, um, and we paid forty-two bucks for it. Sold it for twelve hundred. Twelve hundred smackers. <laughs> killer, killer deal on that one. eBay fees. Um, eBay fees were one fifty-five. One fifty-five. It cost three hundred and four to ship. That one was a little bit more expensive, yeah. but I remember we're down in Florida. That bad boy went up to I think Washington. So the other end of the country that's why i had to pay a little bit more i was still okay with it we paid 42 bucks yeah. for the bad boy cleared a lot of money on it i'm okay with that for sure so all right grand total the we total. got 6685 in gross um all after all said and done we invested 312 dollars total to buy these products and then after all ebay fees and shipping well, ebay um, fees were 1866 total eight. <laughs> and shipping was 1053 and so our total profit was 4454 Four thousand, almost forty five hundred dollars, guys, in profits for eight, for items. eight yeah. items. Total time, and I didn't figure this out. Total time invested in this very, very minimal uh, compared to what it probably would take me to to make that forty five hundred dollars. Um, so that's why we love what we do. We absolutely love the bigger items that where we can make some some good profits on them for sure. So. 
So it's a good month and we got some stuff sold from the road. So have you got all the rest of the stuff listed? Nope, I can still think we have a couple <laughs> things uh, to list. We had a lot going on coming off of a big month last month. If you guys remember, I think we were in the 24,000 range yes, so. um, by killer, killer sales last month. This one dipped down a little bit, but it was all right. We caught our breath, caught up, um, excited about it. So maybe you guys want to know more about this shipping biz that we talk about that we absolutely love. Check out the workshop that we put together. It's 100% free. Uh, check it out and see if maybe this is a good fit for you, you guys. If you want to try it out, we love it. And you guys might love it too. So um, we'll still put a link in. Check it out. Can't we wait to see you guys. Love doing the higher profit items. They're, they are a little bigger. So it takes a little bit of work. But that's what we specialize in. Definitely uh, less time overall. So. That's right. That's um, right. All right. You guys rock. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. See ya.